Hey my squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to another review video. So today we're going to be doing a review and demo on these Vermilion acrylic paints. Here is the packaging. I think it's really nice. It says up here, it says premium quality and it says acrylic paint. Um, 12 tubes and they are 12 milliliters each. I really like their little logo. I don't know. I think it's cute. I like so far this packaging. It's very minimalistic, but I feel like it does its job well. On this side here is their website, vermilion.online, um, and then it's just on this side again. Here is the back of the box. It lists all the colors that are back here, but we're going to look at those more in depth, so we're not going to stay here long. Um, they do have a guarantee. If the product does not meet your expectations, you can let them know before leaving a product review, and they will do their best to either fix it or refund you, and you can you get to send your product back. Um, so. Uh, they also have a Facebook and a Pinterest, so um, I suppose we can just open these up. So when you open it up, here's what the inside of the box looks like. It's very nice. Then we've got a little card, or actually it's just a piece of paper that says, Art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life, uh, Pablo Picasso. And then uh, this is just thanking us for purchasing it. I did not purchase this. I will let you guys know that I did receive this product free for review. Um, but I'm not being paid or sponsored or anything. And this is just going to be my honest opinion. So here are all the colors in this container. Um, so let's just kind of open this up. We'll get this plastic out of here. But so far, I think it's really well packaged. Um, I'm very happy with it. I think it's really nice. So um, I am going to swatch these out, but we can kind of look at them. So we've got black, burnt sienna, crimson red, scarlet, orange, yellow ochre, lemon yellow, light green, sap green, ultramarine, cerulean, and white. Um, I think it's really cool that they include, aside from a cold and a warm yellow, they have all of the primaries with a cold and a warm color. I also think it's cool that they added an orange. Um, I personally think there could be one less green and they could add like a cad yellow, but that's just personal opinion, um, especially for a starter set. But it's still cool to have all of these different colors. Um, now I am going to go grab a piece of paper and we're going to swatch these, so I will be right back. Alright, so right now I am swatching out the colors, and that alizarin crimson is my absolute favorite. I think it's just called crimson red, but it's my favorite. Um, and I'm just swatching out all the colors. At the very top is just the pure acrylic color, and then as it goes down, it's being watered down. It just helps me decide whether I want to water it down, whether I want to use it pure, what it'll look like. Um, and it's easy just to see it at face value if I go ahead and do that. Um, I really like these colors. I think they're really pure, and they look really, really nice. Um, so I can't wait to show you guys the painting with them, which you will be seeing right about now. So now let's go over what I thought, honestly, about these acrylics. I feel like it's really cost effective. Um, you, it's only $9.21 for this whole set, which is really, really good price point, especially for these high quality materials. They do have their guarantee, so if you don't like the product, you can send it back and they will refund you, which is a plus. Their artist quality, at least they boast to be artist quality, I feel like they're artist quality. They're not near as high quality as some of the way more expensive brands, but they are really high quality in that, you know, for $9, it's it's not a bad price, and you get, I mean, you get more than what you pay for, which I think is nice. They're really richly pigmented, they're really vibrant, they mix well together, which was a big thing for me. Um... I like mixing colors especially because this is an introductory set and I feel like they mixed really cleanly. I didn't feel like I got any kind of like muddiness which is nice. Um, they're versatile. They can be used on any surface which includes canvas, paper, glass, wood, fabric, clay, ceramics, and etc. So I mean you can basically paint this on everything. They are safe and non-toxic so if you want your kids to use this um, you can because they're not going to die. <laughs> There's no cadmiums or cobalts or real like harmful pigments in it um they are quick drying most acrylics are quick drying but these actually dried really quickly um a little bit more quickly than some i've used they are easily cleaned up uh soap water you know your basics 
Um, they do dry matte, which is nice. Um, I really like acrylics that dry matte because sometimes whenever you frame them or whatever, the glare can be off-putting. So it's always nice to have a matte acrylic. They don't color shift hardly at all, which I find is really nice. Um, so basically what you mix or put down is what you get. Some colors are more transparent than others. If you saw um, my swatches initially, the cerulean blue is extremely transparent. So if you want a uh, opaque version of that, you will have to layer or mix it with a little bit of white. Um, I would recommend both because they're, I mean, they work. <laughs> they look nice when watered down, which is always a good thing because I like watering my acrylics down. Um, they do hold a brush stroke, but they can be smoothed out. So if you really like um, smooth brush stroked uh, paints, like with no brush strokes, I said smooth brush strokes, I don't know. If you really want it smooth, you can just kind of work at it, but they hold brush strokes. Um, and they don't dry chalky, which is always a big thing with me with cheaper acrylics. I don't like the chalky paint, and they don't dry chalky, which is nice. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave a link to Vermilion Acrylics down below. Also, if you want to join our cute little squid pod, you can by hitting that subscribe button. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and go to my art store. My links are in the description. And until next time, guys, toodaloo! And honestly, the first thing that came to my mind was a girl walking through the forest with a lantern. Um, I don't feel like I executed it as well as I could have. I don't know.